Hi everybody, meteorologist Rob Nucatola here again outside the TV station where the rains are coming down. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday and uh, yeah, it's a soggy one. Had a bunch of severe weather all at the same time. Two or three tornado warnings for some coastal areas. Also had a severe thunderstorm warning for parts of Wakulla County. And those are some of our coastal areas. Now, for a lot of us, the issue is going to be not necessarily severe weather now. It's the potential for some severe weather later. And that's going to have to deal with the fact that we're going to start getting some more breaks in these showers. And as that happens in the warmer air, which is already starting to surge a little further northward, well, that warmer air is going to help to destabilize things. And stability is one of the issues that we're wondering would there be enough today with the low-level jet the way it is and other fancy upper atmosphere kind of terms that are coming together to give us the potential for some dangerous weather. Now, we've already had a couple of tornado warnings, a couple of spotters saying they even saw some debris spinning around uh, in areas out to our west, moving out of Franklin County to Liberty County. So we'll be investigating that throughout the day. But I think the bigger issue for us this afternoon will be, is there potential for more tornadoes? Even if there isn't, I think there's definitely potential for some strong wind gusts. We had a severe thunderstorm warning for wind gusts of over 60 miles per hour. And I think we could see more of that this afternoon also. One of the other concerns for us will be how long do these rains last? I haven't seen any major rainfall totals yet. Some as high as two inches in a few spots like Crawfordville, where we had a couple of good downpours. Things will get a couple of lulls this afternoon before they fire back up. And when they fire back up, those are when some of the thunderstorms could be a little bit stronger. Now, the other thing we're going to be watching very carefully, by the way, will be the fact that it's going to get cold on the other side. And yet another ingredient in why we could have that severe weather today is if we go from a surge of warm air to a much colder air mass coming in on the heels of this. And where warm and cold collide, they usually don't get along. So thank you for checking this one out. We'll have more updates throughout the afternoon for you right here on the social cam. Find me over on the Twitter. We've got updates there too, all kinds of text, pictures, and things like that for you too. So we can keep you ahead of these storms.